Hello everyone, welcome to another Lou's Redo's. Um, today's redo is actually a redo from a restaurant Michelle and I were at uh, last week. Um, you took that bike to the restaurant, right? What? Yeah, that I bike. took the bike to the restaurant. Um, it, it's a little place in Tonville called Manches. It's a pizzeria restaurant. Uh, we just want to sit, relax, grab some meat, and feel like cooking. Uh, so we ordered an appetizer, and it was um, uh, sautéed artichokes, spinach, and a goat gonzola. It was absolutely delicious. So if you're in the area and you're on Tottenville on Amboy Road, stop at Majes and grab something to eat. I normally don't promote, but this was really good, and I told the owner, Pete, that I was going to give him a shout-out. <laughs> and I keep my word. So I'm going to change that appetizer into a main course dish. Uh, I told him I was going to do this. So what you're saying is you're going to redo it. I'm going to redo, yes. So this is what we're going to start. We're going to get some flame going. Uh, vodka bottle. It's extra virgin olive oil. Um, we're going to have a couple of things going on here at the same time. I'm um, also I'm going to break down the goat gonzola sauce, and I'll explain everything as we go along. Another, min another minute or two. I partially cooked the pasta. I'm going to drop it midway. Um, it's still very, very al dente. And if you're going to eat pasta, you want to eat it al dente. You don't want to eat it mush. That's one of the reasons I never put pasta in whatever it is I'm making. I leave it separate. So in like the sauce that um, you're making? Yeah, what happens is when the pasta gets soft, so soft, eh, <laughs> or you overcook it, it changes the glycemic index of the pasta. So if you're diabetic, it's going to affect you. Say if that you, again for us that don't speak and, food. All right, what happens is when the pasta is soft, it breaks down in your system quicker, so the sugar is absorbed into the body. Okay. So that's why diabetics should eat pasta. But on the other hand, in Italy, they have the lowest case of diabetes because they eat their pasta al dente and it, it gets absorbed in the body before the sugar breaks down. So what you're saying is they know how to cook in the motherland. <laughs> yes, in the motherland. They do it. A nice amount of extra virgin. And we're going to add two healthy pats of butter to that. And here we go. Butter and, and oil? Yeah, if, if you're going to cook, if you're going to start with butter, if you put a little olive oil or oil in with the butter, it changes your flash point. So well, the butter is not going to burn as quickly. I was going to say butter has a higher smoke point than Absolutely. oil, Absolutely. Right? So if you do it with some oil, in this case we're just adding the butter I wanted for the flavor. Alright, so we're going to start I used three cans of quartered artichokes. I'm going to get them going. That's the sound you want to hear. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and I forgot, duh. The garlic. How many cloves of garlic did you use? <laughs> Everybody knows my rule with garlic. You left some on the cutting board there. <laughs> if, if the recipe calls for one clove, use two. It calls for two, use four. So. Probably didn't even bring back your, uh, your squirt bottle. Which one? The squirt bottle. Yeah, I could. I have it in the refrigerator. He always has it in the fridge. I, I puree garlic, leave it in a, a plastic pork bottle. Sometimes in a salad dressing, when you want to do something real quick, you give it a, just a quick squirt. 
Um, it worked beautifully. One of the first videos we ever uploaded was, yeah. was the garlic episode. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out. Alright, on the back burner while this is cooking, I'm going to add a couple of ounces of bone broth in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the go to Gonzola in the broth first. Um, I don't like breaking it down in the cream or in the pan. It just it just never comes right. So now that the artichokes are started, I'm going to add four ounces of pancetta. There were five, but an ounce went missing. Yes. Now I was going to ask you, why are you using bone broth rather than like vegetable broth or chicken broth? Um, I kind of like the bone broth. Um, you could use either one. There's no rules. Because, right, because there's no rules. It's been a while. The old saying, lose, reduce. Uh, you make it your way, you do what you want. There's no rules. So, case in point. So let this cook up. I want to get um, a nice sauté on the artichokes. You want to get them like fork tender? They're already fork tender. I want to get them. I want to get a little crisp in there. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. No, no. Those of you who know my and my father's sense of humor, you can put two and two together. Yes. So, we are a little crazy, we do some strange stuff, but... That's the whole point of the channel. Um, I put the garlic in second because the old saying is when, when you do garlic and you're going to keep it in the pan or you're starting with garlic, you want to make it blonde, not brunette. You, you want it that light beige color. You don't want it to be nice. You, you don't want it dark. All uh, I was going to say is that blondes have more fun. <laughs> yes, they do. And then I get the pancetta the third, actually. Um, because I didn't want that broken down too much either. So, quick spoiler, nobody in this family is blonde. Okay. About four ounces of goat gonzola. I'm gonna add that to the broth. And let that start doing its magic. right there. When that start to work, um, I'll add the cream. Oh, you can smell that pancetta cooking down. With the garlic and everything. Hmm. Yes, indeed. This is why I came home tonight. Even <laughs> I'm the only one in the family that don't eat artichokes. Well, it may be the perfect time to start. <laughs> what better time than now, I guess? So, okay, what? Go ahead. That was... No, I was just saying, that's breaking down nicely. I'm going to be adding the cream shortly. Go ahead, what were you saying? I was just going to let our viewers know that we have a special episode planned sometime in the future. Um, yes. We're not going to give away exactly what it is, but... Well, let's just let's just do it the right way. Let's be blunt about it. And we're going to show you how to make herb butter. You can use basil, you can use parsley, oregano. you can use oregano. So whatever herb uh, you have... Uh, we're going to show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. That's an episode where I can't taste anything first. 
<laughs> no, but you'll be able to taste everything after, right? All right, this is breaking down nicely. I like the way this is happening. Now we're going to add one package of frozen spinach. Um, I'm going to add that right in there. What I do is I take it out, um, I put it in a cloth and I squeeze it, I take all that extra water out of it, because all I want is the spinach flavor. This is coming along nicely. We're going to add just a little bit of I think it's my phone. Yeah, it would be your phone. Yeah. Um, I don't know who that scam likely person is, but they keep calling me too. A little pink salt. I like cooking with pink salt. Um, contradiction in terms of the healthy salt. It has more nutrients in it than regular salt. It has a low sodium content than a lower sodium content than regular salt. We're doing some. Crushed pepper. We're checking on the gorgonzola. That looks good. We're adding half and half. Um, so, I have about a little over a quart. So half of the half and half. The what? Half, half of the half, half, half and half. half, yes. Let that come to a boil. I'm keeping this going because if the artichokes get a little crisp, it just adds an additional item to that bite. It's just so nice. Well, that pancetta is going to be nice and crisp, too. Yeah. So. Okay. Now what I did was, I cooked the linguine halfway uh, because I, I wasn't sure how the video was going to go. So I'm going to drop it now to finish it off. It only needs a couple of minutes. And this is gluten-free linguine. Actually, the regular linguine gluten-free is there. I'm cooking that. Separately? Separately, yes. I don't. I didn't want to take a chance of... I don't blame you. So, I, I should have used just old gluten-free, I didn't think. I, didn't, I don't want to have to deal with her if she's sick. I love you, Jess, if you watch this video. I gathered Jess has celiac and she can't have gluten. So we cook for her, we make sure I bleach the table, I, I make sure everything is the right way. Although I've tried many times. Ready to keep that going. That's almost done. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of time. We've got nothing but that, Dad. Yes, correct. But um, I just want to pick that up just a touch. Oh, this is real. This is exactly how I want it. Hear the crackling of the pancetta and the garlic and everything. It just smells really good too. What I'm going to do
Careful. That's going to thicken up nice. Yes, indeed. I'm going to add just a splash more of the half and half. It's about a quarter of a half and half. Now, you don't want Gooding's always strong. It's like a blue cheese in that same family. So you don't want to overpower the sauce with the Gonzalo. I love Gonzalo. I'll eat it just he like that. He raves about it. And we do a quick check. No fear, run out of the pot. Whoops. Oh. 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 Eh, it's going down anyway. Yeah. Okay. I can't win. He's a little busy right now. Call you back. Whoever's calling, shout outs to you. You're on an episode of Lose Redo. <laughs> okay. Now that that's over. Two, two more things. I'm going to top it. I roasted some walnuts. And I'm going to just... Walnuts and gordo gonzola are just out uh, to me. And then finally, a little fresh parsley. And there we go, folks. Um... Uh, my take on that dish, you can fry separately just the artichokes and then dump them in on a fryer. I, I don't have that ability to do that. I can, um, but I just sauteed it. It's healthier this way. So, um, yeah. So there it is. It's a redo of an appetizer I had at Manjas. Uh, like I said, I normally don't promote, but um, I really enjoyed the dish. So, and I decided to do the redo. So, uh, everybody, please enjoy, like, share. Um, Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you want to see us absolutely. do something different. Um, or if you have a suggestion. And again, if you're in Tottenville, stop at my just, like, Great place, nice people. So, until next time, be safe and good cooking.